Hey there, how are you? Deploying solutions in the Power Platform is always a topic for discussion when people get together. And Power Platform pipelines have been an hot topic for a few months. My name is George Daniel and in this video, I will take you through the steps to create a deployment pipeline using the in-product solution, Power Platform Pipelines. First, we are going to need to install a solution from Microsoft and we need an environment to do so. And while you could install this in a prod environment, along with other solutions, it is recommended that you install it in a separate one. Let's start by creating that pipelines environment. And this should be a production environment with a Dataverse data store. Let's keep this simple for now and save the environment. So it's a production type environment and it doesn't need to be a managed environment. With that environment in place, yeah, it's ready. Let's go into Dynamics 365 apps install app and look for power platform pipelines there they are and install this while it installs we can set up the environments that will be part of the deployment pipeline let's have a very common approach with free environments dev test and prod. And one thing you should note is that the dev environment doesn't have to be a managed environment, but target environments such as test and prod do. Let's create those environments. Start with dev and the sandbox with the Dataverse data store. Also simple here with a security group for now. And save. Let's go with the test environment now. This one must be a managed environment and a data store is added automatically to it. Also none here and save. And now the prod environment also managed. Let's change this to production. Security group and save. Okay, so this one should get provision really quickly. Let's take a look at the installation of the solution of the Power Platform Pipelines. Okay, it's still installing, so we might have to give it a moment or so. It shouldn't take long. Still, I'll get back to you. And I'm back. So, environments are in place, solution is installed, Let's open the app for configuring pipelines. Let's add to the Maker Studio. Let's 
select the environment apps and our deployment pipeline configuration app is available in the app you have a few options you can look at but let's start with bringing in the environments for the deployment pipeline so environments and let's add a new one i like to name them uh, the same as they have been named in the admin portal also notice you have two options for environment type they are either a development environment or a target environment and then you need to fetch the environment id so you can uh, go back to the um, admin portal open the environment and get this id right here and save the application will validate your environment uh, but let's continue and add the other two so the test environment is going to be a target one let's get its id Save and close. And finally, let's add prod, also a target environment. And uh, prod's ID. Here it is. Okay, prod is still validating and it's done. All three environments have been uh, validated now. With this done, we can go into pipelines and create our first pipeline. Let's click new. Let's give it a good name. First pipeline you can enter a description so you can tell people about this and then you need to save the record in order to be able to set it up and the first thing you need to do is link a development environment uh, to the pipeline you could create a new one with this button but since we have already um brought environments into the application we can add an existing one and we want dev done after that you can start to configure the deployment stages let's create a new deployment stage this one will be dev to test and uh, you can now select a target environment which will be test save and close this and a new stage this one will be test to prod and for this one it's since it's uh, the second stage you need to define the previous one and the target will be prod there are a few options here uh we're not going to get into those in this video but bear in mind that you can have some extra steps for validating stuff and um, approve uh, deployment stages 
and also you have this delegated uh, deployment. The idea here is that admins can set up pipelines and then makers can move on with things. What happens is that uh, if you don't have a delegated uh, deployment type, the user who will uh, do the deployment will become the owner of the solution. And usually you don't want that. So you can either set this for stage owner, the admin person uh, that's creating the pipeline or maybe use a service principle. Let's untick that this for the this video and our pipeline is ready. So how do pipelines materialize? So let's go into our dev environment. Let's create a new solution. Pipelines video. You have these default publishers, but you know better than this. So let's create a publisher. Uh, let's say I've got the power. And also here. Oh, okay, like this. the hour and I like to have these uh, choice values like this and save select the publisher and create a solution so within your solution you will notice this rocket icon here so this takes you to the pipelines and here you'll have the available pipelines for this uh, environment. And what you can see here are the stages that we have set up. So we can now take this solution from dev to test and then from test to prod. Let's try this out. Let's do deploy. Oh, I didn't set up the test environment as um, managed. So it's telling me I must do that. So um, it did it for me. That's nice. It's now going to do a validation step and it's also going to generate some AI content description content for this solution. It's really an empty solution, so I gather there's not, not much to say, but still uh, it uh, produced some, some notes. And we can now do the deployment. So I don't expect this will take too long, but still I won't keep you waiting. I'll be right back. It was really a minute or so, not much more than that. Uh, it has been deployed. And since we have deployed uh, our first stage, the second stage is now available and we can also deploy. Once again, I forgot about the managed environment. And next, and it's going through the same process of validating the, the solution and also uh, creating some notes on this uh, deployment. And we can now deploy from test to production. How about that? A really nice and friendly application 
where you can easily set up a pipeline and have a deployment structured in the way you want it to happen. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if so, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you soon!